So hello and welcome to another banknote video. Uh, so in these videos, I make them from time to time and I usually put them on either a Monday or a Saturday. Uh, so we go through each banknote denomination and the date. So today we're doing the $20 2013 and this is the last print run of the $20 note before they issued the new banknote. Uh, I don't have any on the table. I spent my last one today. Yes, so I do still use banknotes. So these are still in circulation, and the banknotes you're more likely to get is the 2008. Uh, every time I've gotten a old series, they've always been 2008 for the past year. So these 2013, they are not as common as the 2008 so they also issued these in the folders i don't have the 20 dollar folder i have the 50 dollar folder uh, but i'm not too sure what date they were if anyone would like to let me know but i reckon that they'll either be 2008 or 2013. so the first prefix we have is aa and the last prefix is this one here da we'll have a look in a minute but the print run for both the first and last prefix for these ones are the same number. So the values of the first and last prefix for 2013 should be equivalent. Uh, probably, yeah, equivalent. But because people know to collect AA instead of DA, uh, there's probably a lot more AAs that have been collected than the last prefix. And that's the same with all these banknotes. Uh, by the time people find out the last prefix, they, uh, a lot of them are usually very well circulated or even being withdrawn from circulation because uh, they're too damaged. So, uh, because the print run of these is pretty low, I do keep some in less than uncirculated condition. So this one has a line straight there. So one fold. Uh, it's got two free folds. So this is like a very fine condition banknote. Well, extremely fine. Uh, this one here. Well, you need to put it up to the light like that. Anyway, you need to look down the plane of the actual banknote. And this one has... Well, it doesn't have a fold in it. It doesn't have a fold, but it has some damage on the actual banknote. Uh, it's a bit hard to see. So if we hold it up to the light like that, and get it to, oh, there you go. You can see the actual damage on the banknote, which is, if I can do it, about damage in banknote more. It's around about that area there. So, uh, but those banknotes generally hold their condition pretty well. And at least uh, you probably get inflation value back. And also this one you can see the centerfold. Uh, if the banknotes are lower grade than this, except for less first and last prefix, so general prefix, if they're lower than these grades, like a one fold or so, I'd just spend them. So that's just me. If you'd like to keep it, it's up to you. Uh, but the first and last prefix, I'll probably keep it if it is in a lower grade. So, do I have any first and last prefix banknotes? Should I have some? Uh, okay, I know I said first and last prefix. This is uh, in pretty good condition. Though. Uh, but this one, you see this $50 AA? Uh, I usually keep these ones in this condition. Uh, but if it's if it was like A B or a general prefix, so I I'd just spend it. So in the long term, this one's probably gonna. You know, it's a bit hard to tell actually. We need to look at the actual values that they actually sell for. And there's my favourite within actually. So there's nothing really much to say about the images on the banknote. So it's got um. John Flynn's got the 
bi biplane, so it's biplane because it's got two wings, one on the top and one down the bottom. So a normal plane you see these days will be a monoplane because they only have one wing and a piston engine. And that's a Royal Flying Doctor service. So and then we have some medical instruments and they used to use our uh, camels to get around. So and you can see this one has a line there. So that's probably an EF to almost uncirculated banknote, depending on condition. And we have Mary Robley. So this one is a pretty good condition banknote for a last prefix. The ideal would be the uncirculated ones, but oh well, this one's not uncirculated, so you just get what you're given. And I've got all of these banknotes out of circulation. So this one is uncirculated, general prefix, uh, as I said before. I'd only collect general prefix if they're uh, like this is a low print run, so I would keep you know extremely fine to almost uncirculated banknotes. Uh, but if it's got a high print run, like the 2008, uh, I'll probably spend them if they in this condition. So this one has a few lines on it, uh, probably not really worth keeping. But that's just me, it's up to you. Don't take what I say for gospel, make your own decisions on the type of condition that you would actually keep. So, if you look up banknote serial numbers, you'll come to the... Reserve Bank of Australia and they have a nice website with all the information from the different years so you go up here you got year selected I got 213 and they have from 92 to current so the older banknotes you need to go on to a catalogue and one that I recommend is this one here this is coin and coins and australia.com so this is a very good website if you want to check out the values of uh, Australian banknotes and coins they have pre-decimal and decimal so if we go to banknotes uh, yep so this is a good site for you to to uh, get on to so I don't think it's that popular at the moment but it is something you should look for so if we look at the $20 banknote, we have AA to DA. So this is just one print run, but they had uh, problems with the banknote. So they stopped at uh, 71501 and then they started at 9,500, uh, 950,000. God, I'm getting confused here. So there is about 21,500 banknotes missing from the 900s. And then it goes down to 141,500. So that's 140,000. About 160,000 banknotes, short of a million, is what we're missing here. Uh, but as you can see, both of these are the same print run. And it's different with the 50s. So you've got AA, which has a million. Then you've got JC, the lowest. Last, I mean, not the lowest, last. But it has a shorter print run. So the JC of the $50, the last print run of the... And the last prefix of the uh, $100 will be a higher value because there's a lot less than first prefix. And as you can see with the $5, uh, they're the same, so they should have similar values. But always the last prefix. There's a lot less of them kept because, you know, people just don't know. So... So as you can see here, there's quite uh, a few banknotes listed. Some are graded. Uh, then we have CE, $30. Yeah, but it looks circulated. First and last, $100 for both. Uh, they look circulated. 
So yeah, you can see it's been circulated there. And so let's zoom in. Ah, there you go. Last prefix, you know, you got a lot of damage there. Uh, some of the air, but you know, it's good if you want it. And the last prefix is in, looks like in better condition than the first prefix one. Uh, but those two are circulated. Then you got some other bank notes. So let's have a look and see the sold values. So this should be $20 or more, but they purchased it for well, under face value. This is what you should not do. You should, if you have an, an auction, you should at least put it on $20 or maybe $22 to cover the fees. Or no, that'll be $23 actually. If you've got about 13 or 14% fees now, depending on uh, if you've got a store or not. So this one's in pretty circulated condition. So that's not reflective of the market because someone got it really cheaper. And you got another last prefix. Well circulated, 24. Okay, last prefix. Uh, this one says uncirculate, $200. Uh, maybe it's sold for that, I'm not too sure. Pretty high grade and went for a good price not then you got other ones you got this one consecutive pair 250 for last prefix last prefix don't know the price of that uh first prefix 25 dollars. so the first prefix is not getting that much money last prefix is what people were after okay first and last not really much so obviously the values of these ones have not increased that much i'm questioning uh the prices of some of these first and last in pretty circulated condition okay another last e extremely fine so these are probably more realistic so if you actually do have one of these so you've got a last prefix then now you probably wait a while before you can sell the, the banknote so in this condition definitely worth keeping uh, but as these are still in circulation uh, they won't have increased in price slowly over time they do increase in price but you're talking about probably at least 20 years i'll see the banknotes from 2002 and 2003 just started to rise in price so that's about 18 years since they were printed but they weren't issued for a few years after they were printed, uh, which is pretty normal. So you only release banknotes when you need them. So I hope this helps you with the values of these banknotes currently, 2021. This one probably sell, uh, probably close to face value. Uh, so if you've got one of these, I would hold on to it for another 10 years uh, just to see how market goes. But over the time, these get a lot scarcer than uh, the general prefix banknotes, which in this condition they do increase in price. Uh, but whether they increase as much as inflation, it depends. So thank you very much for watching my video. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.